Have you ever thought about getting a dedicated astronomy camera? Well, I have, but I never really got one. Well, that's probably because I just didn't need one. In this video, I'm gonna prove to you exactly how good a DSLR can actually be. The real difference between a DSLR and a dedicated astrophotography camera is that a dedicated astrophotography camera has a cooling system and, you know, low readout noise and stuff like that. But the reason not to get a dedicated astrophotography camera is what if you don't want a very complex setup? Well, with a dedicated astronomy camera, you're gonna have to have a computer and plug that into a computer, and you're gonna have to have, you know, software to run that, and it's actually a pain. So, in my case, I just like using a DSLR. It's much easier to set up, no computer required, just much better. So, um, this is the image of the Horsehead Nebula I got with the DSLR, this Canon EOS Rebel T7. Um, very inexpensive DSLR, 400 bucks, if you buy it brand new. Um, but yeah, it's not a very expensive DSLR, honestly compared to like a lot of dedicated astronomy cameras that are cooled, such as a 2600mm by ZVO, that's like $2,200. And actually this is, a, I think this is a pretty good photo for just a Canon T7. And this wasn't very much data, this was like maybe like three hours of data at most. Um, so it wasn't very much data. Um, a DSLR can definitely do great. Um, as long as you take like darks, make sure to take your calibration frames, um, because this is gonna really help eliminate a lot of that noise you'll get. Um, in a DSLR compared to like a dedicated astronomy camera. So you definitely wanna take your calibration frames. Another tip I have for a DSLR user is make sure to take data for multiple nights. So if you have like, let's say, multiple nights of clearness in a row, or you know, multiple nights of clearness in like certain days across the week maybe, um, make sure to take um, as advantage of those days and get as much data as possible and then combine those data from different nights. That would actually make a really good clean image without a lot of noise. And also it'll remove a lot of artifacts as well at the same time. Another tip I have is do not overstretch your image. This is a big one, especially for DSLR users. If I overstretch my image, you're gonna get like these weird color artifacts and I've, I've noticed them a lot before in like the backgrounds of DSLRs. You notice a lot of like color, like banding artifacts. It's really weird, especially if I overstretch my image. So I recommend not doing that. Another thing I recommend using is narrowband filters. Even though I said this in other videos, narrowband filters are pretty good for nebulae. Not really for galaxies. They don't do much for galaxies, but for nebulae, I definitely recommend using um, a narrowband filter because narrowband filters will really help eliminate a lot of light pollution if you're not in dark sky site. Um, it's best to go to a dark sky site, but if you don't have a dark sky site near you, a narrowband filter is great, especially for photographing nebulae. Personally, I have the Octolong L Extreme, and it does pretty well. That's how I got this picture of the horse and nebula. Here's some other images I got with that exact DSLR, the Canon EOS Rebel T7. As you can see, most of these are actually pretty good. Um, there's a few here and there that aren't the best, because um, I've overstretched some of them, but um, I tend to like overstretching data. That's only because I didn't get enough data some nights. If you get, the more data you get, the more you can stretch it. So I definitely recommend, that's why I said before, get as much data as possible, even if you can, stack multiple nights worth of data. Oh, by the way, if you're enjoying this video, my name is Asher and I create astrophotography videos all about astronomy, astrophotography tips, anything you'd want astronomy related. So if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, it'd really help support me. Anyways, until next time, clear skies. Hope you enjoyed this video.